Hi everybody, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel for another episode in The Witcher 3. Last time we ended learning a little bit more about Ciri's whereabouts. We had another flashback with her. We also put an end finally to Junior Horson. After seeing everything that went on with this guy, I had to end his life. I didn't really see any other way out. He was just very disgusting in the way that he treated women and the way that he conducted business. After that, we did end up meeting up with King Radovid again, and he wants us to do him a favor in exchange for the information on where to find Horson. So now King Radovid wants us to find Philippa for him and obviously put an end to her life. So we're on a search for Philippa um, for King Radovid. We'll see how all of that turns out. And we also ended with a secret letter from Triss, which I think is what we're gonna jump right into today. Um, we're gonna see what Triss wanted in her letter and then I guess continue on with the main quest line. I think from here on out, we're just gonna kind of do some more main questing um, and around the area. We definitely have enough money to do so. And we're not quite there on the cat armor quite yet for the upgrades, but maybe by next episode, we'll be ready to um, start upgrading some of our armor. So I'm excited to hop in today. I hope you guys are ready. Let's go. Uh, yes, we ended um, in the bar back in Oxenfurt. I think we're in Oxenfurt, college town. Um, I'm finishing up that round of Gwent. So apparently we should focus on trying to finish our Gwent games up. Maybe um, in these like towns here in parts of Velen. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and complete this part with Mitris. And she is back over in Novigrad. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel over there. There's a fast travel right over here. In the Oops, didn't mean to drink that. Okay. So let's go ahead and travel to Hierarch Square. I'm not sure if we ended up having anything to sell or not. Let me take a look. Mm, we have a few swords that we could probably get rid of for sure. Um, real quick, I am going to put some, we have two points available. I'm going to go ahead and put some of those into, um, where my map tells me to. My belly. Eternal fire. How it does. and tracks blaspheming the sacred flame especially. Travel. All right, real quick, I'm just going to sell th some things to this guy too. All right, so we're off to go meet Triss. So I know a few of you said that I could wait and put this quest off until later, until I've made my decision um, about if I want to be with Yen or if I want to be with Triss. And I think that we just might not be with anybody. And we'll see how things with Yen go. Um, but there was a lot of like thought put into why i decided to not choose to go with tris even though she seems very lovely Trouble. we've had a very deep past with her and she's all around a sweetheart she really is um but she was definitely acting drunk very quickly um kind of like toying with our emotions there and so i think that my ultimate like very quick decision not to kiss her um was one that it just felt right at the time. It felt right because she had been drinking and like not really drinking in excess, but then pretending to be wasted just to kind of like collapse into our arms and have that moment with us. So it felt very ingenuine. And um, I didn't really appreciate that at all coming from her. And I know that she's a very sweet lady um, I do really love her in this game. I just think that our time with her has come to an end. And Yen, 
depending on how she racks with us, I might just turn her down as well. I'm not really sure or decided yet, but um, we'll see how this goes with Tris. I think she might tell us that she loves us and she wants us to stay or something like that. Her letter just seemed very desperate. So we'll see what happens here, but... Is that all of them? These guys are so annoying. I'm gonna try to have a deep conversation here. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that she's probably going to want to talk about our relationship together, if I had to guess. Especially with some of the... I mean, they weren't really like spoils in the comments, but... Seeing you guys say like, maybe you should wait and then come back and then maybe you won't get another chance. <laughs> I kind of but I figure that the entire month. this might be our last chance to talk to her, to have a relationship. Now, so should the rewards be. I'm out of coin. But you got something else, dear. Give us a necklace and get out of here. Um, hands off or I'll cut him. Hands off or I'll cut him off. Geralt, you don't need to. I wanna. Grab your things and let's go. Get out! Now! They've been nothing but nasty to us since we've gotten here. When I need your help, I'll ask for it. What? what? Are you angry? Ugh, angry? No. But they deserve the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. They risked it because it paid well. <laughs> um, I was worried about you. That's why I did it. I was worried about you. I was worried about you. City's crawling with hunters. I know. We had everything in place. We were ready to sail. But the hunters moved faster. They locked all the gates, placed guards at every corner, all in one night. Then they started searching the city, street by street, house by house. They stop anyone who seems even slightly suspicious. Mostly it's common folk with rabbit's foot charms or lucky horseshoes. But sometimes they get it right. Arrest actual mages. Mm, you should probably save yourself. She has a way out. High time you forgot about your fellow mages. Saved yourself instead. Would you abandon Vesemir? Eskel? Lambert? That's true. Leave them behind just to save your own skin? I understand you're worried about me, but I can't just pack up and leave them all. I know what awaits those who fall into the hunter's hands. That's very true. How can I help? How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Who are they? Um, could find getting the poorer problem. Yeah, who's these? Who are these people? Bertold and Denise. Who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist. Had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratuza. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See, my hosts weren't all bad. Hmm. Could getting to a port be a problem? Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? Mm -hmm. Help two and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? Um, need to manage on your own? No. I think that we should help them. But at the same time, we are risking everything for them. But she put it into good perspective. Like, would we abandon Vesemir 
And like, what if it was Siri? What if it was Vesemir and Siri? Would we abandon them? We probably wouldn't. We should help them. We should help Anise and Bertolt. To write them off like that, it'd be cruel. Yeah. Fine. But then we need to go now. Clock's ticking. Okay. Lead the way. Well, it wasn't about love. Hmm. It was about getting out of here and trying to get her friends out as well. I get that these people deserved the necklace because they sheltered her, even though they knew that she was dangerous, but... Whoa! Holy moly! Get your sword out! Get your sword out! All right, where did she go? I don't even see... Oh, there she is. He's got a crossbow. Where's this hideout? Not far. In the bits. Now, quiet, Geralt. Okay. We'd rather not draw any attention to ourselves. Yeah, after we just murdered these guards. <laughs> okay. Wait, where are they? Oh, over there. Do they show up on the map? No, they don't. Well. Okay. I think they are gone now, right? Okay. Oh, we're supposed to go this way. Cat. <laughs> this is them, just as I said. Now it's sorcerer and it's whore. She's into the witchcraft too. Good work. Take them. Yeah, they're definitely right. Hear that several times a day. What, here to get her. What about my reward? Reward? Oh, right. Very cold. Turned her in. Land on two fires. No, no. Oh, I think he's dead. He's stuck in the wall. <laughs> you all right? Can you walk? I yeah, yes. I'll not leave here. I'm no fool. Bertolt. Have you seen what's happening out there? They'll catch us before we can reach the port. Catch us and kill us. If you stay in Novigrad, you'll die. I can't guarantee you'll be safe if you come with us. But if you stay here, you will definitely die. He's right. We'll hide somewhere. Wait it out. Darling, I beg you. Shut up. I told you last winter we should leave, but no, that didn't suit you. Well, here's your comeuppance. We're going now. We're going now. Go going. Thanks. <laughs> we need to join the others as soon as possible. Okay. Just as soon as I take some stuff. No way. <laughs> Lots of beer in here. Which way? Down here. Who's that? Lee? Oh, landlady. Okay. So they were staying here. Check the sewers beneath the kingfish. Who is that? No. Didn't think we'd have to take that route. To think a year ago, guardsmen bowed to mages they passed in the street. Now we have to flee the city like rats. You could stay. You'd manage it somehow. The others will never make it without me. Well, it's good that we rescued them already. Hopefully the rest of this goes smoothly. Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. They definitely needed help. They were already being turned in. Uh, Ew. No guardsmen or hunters in sight. Everything 
seems in order. Or damn it. They're here already. Oh no. Crossbow dude. Who else? This guy. Is that everyone? Who's that? Damn it. We took too long. Too long? We set out to rescue two people. Yes. And lost one. I think we got here before they found the others. Knew what he signed up for. Um, I guess we could be optimistic. Good thing we got here before they found the hatch. Grabbed the others. Yeah. This is not about numbers, Geralt. This is no time to mourn. Come with me. Hmm. Sorry, steal from you. <laughs> this way, Geralt. Okay. Oh, this is crazy. There's a lot of people down here. Tris? What happened upstairs? Is everything all right? No, everything's not all right. Geralt, wait a minute. I need to see who made it. Why the tears, my dear lady? You shouldn't worry yourself. It tarnishes your beauty. Deekstra? Guess you must have worried quite a bit. No, I was born ugly. You fleeing to Kavir too? No, but I am helping the others set up. You know me. Bleeding heart and all. Mm, heart only start bleeding now? Puzzling. I know, I'm confused why he's here. It only start bleeding now? They've been burning mages for months around here. But only since recently on this scale. Besides, I look forward to having friends in Kavir. Especially among King Tancred's entourage. Tris is about to speak. We'll talk later. Interesting. We've waited long to escape. Till we could make sure Kavir will take us. Till we could acquire enough coin to hire a ship. Till we could find a captain we could trust. We've waited too long. There's no more time for hesitation. We must leave Novigrad today. This is madness. Hunters stand on every corner. So we'll get to the court through the sewers. Garrett will clear a safe path for us. They'll catch us anyway. You'll see. They'll catch us and kill us. Perhaps. In which case, we'll die with dignity. Weapons in hand. Not tied to a stake, begging for mercy. If anything happens, I'll defend you. If the need arises, I'll defend you. Yeah, they need to get you out can of here. Also count on my help. Yes, the help of a Redanian spy, Radovid's right hand man. That was long ago, sir. You raised that madman. You taught him to kill. You. This is no time to settle past scores. End of discussion. All right, Good we're going. The sewers now. I'll signal when the path's clear. You follow my trail and don't stray from it, no matter what. I will go with Geralt. You, Dijkstra, go to the port and see that everything's in order with the ship. On my way. We'll meet there. I hope. Triss, really want to go with me? No offense, but... Offense taken. Stop talking and leave the way. I feel like it would have been so much safer for them to like leave gradually. Like one person leaves on like Monday. Someone else leaves on like, you know, a Thursday. I don't know. They could have spread it out versus having all of them get on one ship at once. I feel like this is just a really, really bad plan. Oops, I didn't mean to jump. I wanted to loot this. I guess I shouldn't steal from these people. But I just feel like it would have been much easier if they 
<laughs> they would have just, you know, gone. Thanks for helping. No need to thank over me. time yeah. instead of all no, there is. right now. You don't know how much it means to have someone you can rely on in this fucking city. It's all right. It'll be over soon. Mm. Soon. All right, there's some other stuff in here. A muck mixer. Have we seen those before? I feel like that's new. There's a lot of them down here. Some loot down here. Barrels. Ooh, silk. Wind witch hunter sword. Superior vampire oil. Nice. We did get some torches, so um, I accidentally sold all of my... Ooh, this is a fancy-looking sword. I accidentally sold all of my torches, so I wasn't able to use a torch. It's nice to finally have one again. Okay. Um, Find a path through the sewers. What is this note here? Oh, it says it's upstairs. Hang on, let me try to bring out this torch. There we go. Much better. Was that a bootable chest? Okay. Damn it! No way through! All is lost. All Relax. is lost. No. Maybe there's another way. It's very it aggressively um, <laughs> pessimistic. But listen, there's Holy an echo moly. behind the walls, and I can feel air coming in through the cracks. So, there we go. See, all is not lost. It's gonna be okay. Pray. Look, Gonzalo de Verseo's poems, Jacob of Veraz's chronicles. It's incredible. Rare, first editions only. We'll come back for them later. No, we won't. I leave Nova Grad today, remember? I remember. There's tons Just of books in here. Coming to grips with it. Come on. Oops. We should hurry. Elven Sages? I don't know if we've read that one. The Betrayal of the Elder Race. We'll have to read these later. The Horse Whistler? We definitely didn't read that one. We've read those. We've also read that one too. Do it yourself. We read that one too. I think we read that one about Toussaint. A duchy out of tales of fantasy and wonder. Yeah, we've we read that one before. We can keep all these just so that we can sell them later. Now that we know where the library is. I think I'll keep a copy of like one book in my locker. Um, but the rest we'll just go ahead and sell. There's so many books in here. She Who Knows. I don't know if we've read that one. She Who Knows. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what Horse Whistler is. Breaking in a horse's psyche is a simple matter. Yeah, we have read this one actually. Um, Holy Tome of the Internal Fire. We definitely read that one. Elven Sages, She Who Knows, The Lady of the Wood. I don't think we've read this one before. Folks say they were four at first. The mother, She Who Knows, The Lady of the Wood, came here from a faraway land and since she suffered terribly from the loneliness. She made three daughters out of dirt and water. A long, long ago, mother was sole ruler of all of Velen. Her daughters brought her all the people's requests and served as her voice. Each spring, sacrifices of grain, animals, and men were made to the Lady of the Wood on her special night. Yet as the years passed, the Lady of the Wood slipped deeper and deeper into madness. Her madness eventually spread over the land. Men took to abandoning their homes and setting out into the bog where they became food for beasts. Before long, Velen was drowning in blood. Oh my gosh. The daughters saw their land nearing destruction and took it upon themselves to save it. 
When spring came once more, and with it in the night of sacrifices, they killed their mother and buried her in the bog. Her blood watered the oak atop Ard Serban, and from then on the tree grew wholesome and hearty fruit for the people. <gasps> Is that the spirit that we set free? It was the mother of the three witches of Crookback Bog. As for the lady's immortal soul, it refused to leave its beloved land, and so the sisters imprisoned it. To this day, it lies trapped beneath the whispering hillock, where it thrashes about in powerless rage. Wow, I'm so surprised we haven't found this book yet already. This is my first time seeing this. It's about the ladies of the Crookback Bog and how they... Wow, very interesting. So that's the that's the spirit that we freed beneath the tree. Very interesting. All right, how do I get out of here? It's this way. Triss, found an exit. Oh, for a minute, I actually thought we were doomed. Ew, there's something over here. Damn, you're ugly. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two over here. Jeez. Anything else in here? Some sulfur, essence. Oh, I can't loot those. Okay. Remember? You got nothing to <gasps> Whoa! Oh my goodness. That was so scary. That reminded me of like Indiana Jones going into like one of the tombs and then going too fast through the doorway, not knowing what's in front of you. That was a scary feeling. Alright, let's go down there. I think Triss went down there already. <gasps> What is that? Are those rats? So many rats. What the heck? Hang on. We're right under the main square, next to Carlo the Cleaver Varessa's headquarters. Why were they attacking us like that? His debtors have tended to disappear without a trace. Everything all right? A few bites on my feet and cars. Nothing really. Need to clean your wounds. Infection will set in otherwise. Yeah. With the rats. Okay. Gross. It's crazy that they were like attacking her like that. They must be really hungry. I don't think I can get those down. Okay. There's one other thing here. Crumpled letter. Juke, Master Verisies asked after his coin for the first and last time. Either repay it with all the interest tomorrow or learn exactly why Master Verisies called the Cleaver. Guess they found out. There's so much death down here. Did she go this way? What's that? There's like a red body over there. Which way did Tris go? Up the stairs. Is she in here? What is that? What the heck? Oh, there's a lot of loot in here. Enhanced white honey. Um, some heavy armor. Enhanced northern wind formula. Vanard breastplate diagram. A white gull. Alchemy. Long claw alchemy. We should see if we can make any of these. Ooh, a superior grape shot. That actually comes in handy. Let's see if we can craft any of these real quick. Enhanced white honey, clears toxicity. Nice. 
Um, increases maximum vitality. Ooh, full moon. Nice. Okay. Should we go up this way? I think there's something up here. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Lots of like crap down here. It's mainly like a lot of trash, but it's mixed in with some good stuff. Like that silver and other mats, but it's mainly just garbage. Okay, nothing else up here. Doesn't look like it. All right, so we'll go back over this way. There's that body that I was looking at. Wounds around the neck and shoulders. The neck and shoulders. Melith crafting diagram. Mm. And superior swallow, let's go. I wonder if I can craft that now. Oh, we need to make sure we make this. Vitriol and white gall. How to make white gall? I know that we just got, yeah, the vitriol we've had. We need to find white gall recipe. Uh, mandrake cordial, cherry cordial. I think I've seen someone selling the cher cherry one before. I don't know if I've ever seen mandrake, though. We'll have to keep our eyes out. Some alkahest. Okay. What's in here? Lantern still lit. Died recently from bites to the neck. Bites to the neck? What? Like a vampire? feeling something's gonna like jump out and try and scare me we're leading up to something here i feel like it might be a vampire of some sorts the, this is like the perfect place for a vampire to live in the sewers <laughs> oh yep it's a, a uh Watch out for its venom. a katana okay so let's go ahead and read about those <laughs> holy moly all right Oh, we don't actually know about those yet. Well, if they're anything like Ekamara's or the Sarasti, um, fire, vampire or oil, and the devil's puffball. Okay. So let's swap to devil's puffball. Oh, is it the green one? Do we have it equipped? Oh, we already have it equipped. Why do we only have one? <gasps> we didn't meditate after we went to our last battle all right let's go ahead and drink damage dealt is increased when vitality is at its max um no Dagger. Which one would be the best? Damage taking raises damage resistance for the remainder of the fight. Uh, okay. I feel like that one might be fine. Did he drink it? Oh, no, 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 no. We accidentally took cat eyes off. Okay. We'll go ahead and just drink that one. 
Go ahead and uh, get rid of this torch and get the puffball out. I'm trying to throw it, it's not working for some reason. <sighs> okay. He's like knocked out. Nice. Okay, Luckily, that wasn't that bad. Luckily, For some reason, the devil's puffball wasn't working. On, I don't understand why that wasn't working. Sometimes I feel like when I'm trying to hold the torch, and I think this is why I sold the torch, because I got really, like, every time you go into battle with the torch, it gets so wonky. So. Definitely didn't loot around here, though. Okay. All right, keep going. It's definitely a maze down here. Seagulls, hear them? Oh yeah, we're we outside. Come on, we need to ready the ship before the hunters learn what's happening. Superior relic oil, nice. Okay. Oh, I thought that was lootable. Okay, so up here. Finally, you bloody took long enough. Did you have time to look around? How's the ship? Creaky piece of junk. <laughs> Woods rotting. Sails are prone to rip like an old pair of knickers. Oh no. And Will the... we make it to Kavir? Provided you don't run into any storms. I'll signal the others to come. Like a pair of knickers. <laughs> any help? Can I play the violin for you? Fetch some flowers or bonbons? Bonbons sound nice. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I want to say the first one. What the hell's that mean? What? Don't tell me you don't plan to beg her to stay. Why do you even care? I adore love stories. <laughs> especially the ones that end happily ever after. Hunters! Hunters approaching! I can't believe Deekstra is talking us into this right now. Oh no, this looks not great. <laughs> Let's do uh, Igni. Oh, he's bad. Okay. I didn't realize he was a bad guy, too. Alright. They're gone. Dijkstra, I don't know how to... No time for courtesies, my dear. Get on board. One last farewell. Thank you. I'll never forget what you did for me. And what we had together. Oh, farewell, Driss, or stay with me. I think she should leave. Not only is it safer for her out there, um, away from all of this crazy stuff that's going on with the Eternal Fire in Novigrad right now, but we need to figure out what's going on with Yen as well. We need to at least explore that as we are with Yen right now. Um, so farewell, Triss. I'll remember you too. Always with a smile. Miss Marigold! Coming! Take care and give Siri a kiss from me once you find her. It's hard to watch people that you love leave. Especially when there's like a what if in the air. It's such a it's such a hard feeling. I can't believe Deekstra was trying to talk me into being with Triss. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Deekstra. <laughs> I think it's best for her to go. It's not safe here. Not at all. No matter how much we ass. say we can protect her. What? An ass. An oaf. A twit. Didn't even try to stop her. No, I didn't. I have had I have my reasons. I had my reasons. Of course you did. You're an ass. An oaf. 
a tweet. But even an <laughs> ass can do the world a favor if one more enlightened tells him how. Mm, what are you plotting now? <sighs> Dijkstra, what are you plotting this time? What would you say? How many mages did we save altogether? Dunno, didn't count. There's a lot 30, down there. Maybe, yeah. give or take a few. And how many would you say remain in the north? How many alchemists, healers, herbalists? Two thousand? Three? Doing a population count? Is that it? No, I'm concerned. In Novigrad, they had us. We were here. But who'll save those in Rimba? Banard, Ard Kareg, Gullet. You know damn well that daft bastard Radovid won't rest till he's killed them all. Every last one. Yennefer and Triss included. Moving as speeches go. Now get to the point. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to help me kill Radovid. Kill Radovid, wow. That concerned about the mages of the world? Or is it because you want to be king yourself? You want power? I mean, clearly he wants power. He's been running this successful underground business for a while now. Interesting scheming going on here. You that concerned about the mages of the world? Expect me to believe that? Actually, yes. But not because I'm sensitive or it gives me a heartache, true. To my mind, this systemic persecution is foremost a symptom of a far more serious problem. A madman rules Redania. It's very true. I served Vizimir, Radovid's father, was his head of intelligence for more than two decades. Together, we transformed Redania, made it the North's most powerful realm. Any idea what made it strong? Its armies, I'd wager. <laughs> and you'd bloody lose, you idiot. Mass mobilization, inciting peasants to take up their scythes, straighten them. Where's the art in that? Much harder to build a strong state with healthy commerce, manufacturing, solid alliances, progressive science, and fair, independent courts that hand down just judgments. Vizimir and I managed to do just that through years of fucking hard work. I will not sit on my hands as that little shit squanders that. Radovid the stern, my ass. Radovid the witless, I'd say. Will you help me, Geralt? He has very, very, very good points. Very valid. Um, I know in the beginning, when we were when we first met Dijkstra in the bathhouses, I did not like him at all. Just because everything that we said, he always spun it around and like said something um, very demeaning after to us. So I got like a little bit irked off. The more that we run into into Dijkstra, um, the more I kind of gain this respect for him in a lot of different ways. I mean, look at what he's built down here. He also wants to actually help the mages. He understands that herbalist, mages, sorceresses, they run the world right now. I mean, who do the people turn to when they have a vampire in their basement or a banker gets a haunted house? They turn to the mages and the, and the you know, the witchers of the world. They need them. So I think that he has a really good point in how he wants to run the world versus how Radovid wants to run it, which is like this military, who cares who gets hurt, um, gather all of the pitchforks and move forward and take out huge populations of people just because they don't confine in the same religion that we do. That's how people get into really big problems around the world. So, he has, he has very good points. I don't kill kings. Very Just not a regicide. Rumors to the contrary be damned. I know. I'm merely asking for your aid in organizing the assassination. Someone else will strike the blow. <sighs> Dijkstra. Might not have heard this, though I'd find that hard to believe. But witchers are neutral on principle, so... Oh, bollocks. That's a convenient excuse you lot try to hide behind every time the temperature rises. It's grown hot, my friend, and it grows hotter still. Pyres burn in every city. 
For mages, great and small, your female friends included. For non-humans, for witchers soon. Is that the North you espouse? The North you're prepared to live in? No. Silence. Cards close to your chest, I understand. To slay a king, it's not exactly some bloody necker contract. You think on this. Think on what I said. And if you conclude you'd rather change the course of history instead of riding its current to hell, you come find me. At the Passiflora in the garret. I'll be waiting with my mates. I'll think about it. So long, Geralt. Very interesting proposal. Very interesting proposal. A deadly plot. So I wonder if this is part of a side quest or a main quest. Let me take a look. Yeah, it's part of a secondary quest. Interesting. Upon finding Dijkstra mingling among the fugitive mages, then watching him assist them in their flight, Geralt got the sinking feeling the erstwhile spy would want a favor in return. He could not have been more correct. For as soon as the mages had set sail for Kovir's hospitable shores, Dijkstra confessed that he had set in motion a plot to assassinate Radovid and asked the Witcher to meet him promptly at the Passiflora. Very interesting. So what is the quest line? I'm guessing it's another side quest. The one that Radovid wants us to do. What is it? An eye for an eye? No. Oh. Because Radovid also wants us to find... That sorceress. Um, Philippa. What is it following the... Which one is it? This one. Redania's most wanted. They say chess is the game of kings, and Radovid proved this, proved this point twice during his meeting with Geralt. First, by playing the royal game at the Oxenfurt Chess Club while they met, and then by treating Geralt like a pawn he could send out to do his bidding. His requested move? Witcher takes Sorceress. His spies had reported finding signs of Philippa Owlheart presence in the elven ruins outside of Novigrad. Geralt was to go there and retrieve her. Normally, Geralt resisted attempts to command him aboard, around the board, but he, owned, he owed Radovid a favor and had his own reasons for wanting to find Philippa. True. So we could still find Philippa's hideout and then maybe not turn her in. I want to read about Philippa real quick. I know we did last time, but um, hang on. I'm just going to take a minute to kind of reread this real quick. Philippa Eilhart, one-time advisor to King Visimir II, called the Just, member of the Councils of Mages and later founder of the Lodge of Sorceresses, had played a momentous part in the history of the world as well as in Geralt's life. There could be no denying her talent, yet neither one could one claim that she did not also at times demonstrate sickly ambition. Very trustworthy reports indicates that she had a hand in King Visimir II's death, and as a member of the Lodge was implicated in the murder of two other monarchs as well, Damavend of Adnir and Foltest of Demar Demira. For this reason, the one jewel of the court at Tredegor was now a wanted woman, the quarry of special forces from the north and Nilfgaard alike. Vizimir's son and successor, Radovid V, was particularly eager to capture her. During her last encounter in Loch Mune, he had had Philippa's eyes gouged out, yet she had fled, and he wanted nothing more than to stick the head of the Tregor's jewel on a spike above the city gates. Very interesting what to do, what to do. I have a feeling that if we take up Dijkstra on this quest, we risk... There's no way that we can do two together. Okay. I think I want to take up Dijkstra's offer on overthrowing Radovid. I think Radovid is mad. Um, from the conversations that we've had with him, he does seem very um, unhinged in certain areas. 
and what he is doing right now with the war is very aggressive and all of the stuff that's going on with the eternal fire and killing the mages and the sorceresses and the herbalists has just gone way out of hand and i think if we did assassinate him and dijkstra took over it would be a better place he obviously knows how to run businesses um he doesn't seem like he is overly aggressive with people he seems like he has a good head on his shoulders i think i would pick i would pick dijkstra over radovid to be a successor roller very interesting. All right, so what's part of the main quest? Um, tell Priscilla what you've learned about Doodoo. -doo. Okay, so... Oops. I keep pressing F to loot for some reason today. Like... I'm not really sure why. All right, we should probably get out of here. My wife won't believe me when I tell her. What, that I'm standing around all these invisible dead bodies? All right, so let's go tell Priscilla. I I thought that we did tell her what happened to Dudu, but um, now that I'm remembering, prepare for battle. You shall not have it easy oh this time. Oh gosh, this guy again. Broad friends. <laughs> huh. They all pledged to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too. No, no, no. They defend justice, for it is only fair you face a threesome. What? Is that so? Yes. For you are a rogue and a cheat, sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. You came up to me. I'll fight all of you. No way I'm going to fight you. <laughs> I think I'm going to tell him to go home. I know he's in front of people, but it's fine. Go You'd home. better go home. Get some sleep. Think things over tomorrow. Wise words. Don't know about you two. But I'm feeling a bit sleepy. <laughs> yeah. We're done, eh? Okay. This guy. I don't know what his issue is. He keeps wanting to fight us. Psst. Right here. Come here. What? What is it? We're a problem, Master Witcher. Mate of ours got injured, and we can't seem to find him. Poor lad could bleed to death. You track many a monster. Would you sniff our friend out as well? I'm willing to pay. How much? They look sketchy. Why not? Short delay won't hurt. Lead the way, Master Witcher. Quick as you can, though. Poor lad needs help. We I think need I'm some being kind set of up. Lead first. Any clues? Um, yeah, yeah. He ran toward the port. Came out of the sewers. Sewers. Should be an easy scent to follow. Mm, interesting. This drink for its nearly night. I have a feeling I'm being set up. The sewers. Okay, so over here. The lines. Traces of sewer slime. I'll keep following this. What's that? Blood. Fresh. Hmm. Maybe they are really hurt. Things are generally tidier back in Colvia. Take pity, sir. I've a sick child. Even more misery besides. More blood. Wait, is it going this way? Through here. Gotcha, Horsen. That was five stone of the purest fist tech you put to the torch. Do you know what it was worth? All right, witchman. Take your coin, bugger off. <laughs> Um, so what are they ganging up against this eternal fire D guy? Oh man, I don't really care for the eternal fire, but I feel like it would make me look bad if I don't stand up for him. Leave him alone. Wonder of wonders. A witcher defending a mage hunter. Next we'll have mice sticking up for cats. 
I'm not joking. Hey, yeah. Fine, we'll talk serious then. Oh man, I don't want to fight any of you guys. What? Lost your nerve? Well, that was unfortunate. I didn't expect help from the likes of you. Yeah. Shouldn't be so quick to judge, maybe. A lesson your colleagues could use, too. Listen, I've lost much blood. I need a medic to patch me up. Quickly. Will you help? Can we heal him? Huh. You hunters sure are polite when you need something. Yeah. Fine. Do you a favor. Against my better judgment. Give me your hand. We even took him to a hospital. Look at that. He's not sleeping on the bed the right way, but maybe he'll get better in no time. Yes, I'm all ears. <laughs> That's a medic. This is a very interesting hospital. It's probably filthy in here. All right. If you were an old Back to what we were doing before we got sidetracked again. That was wild. I don't know if I did the right thing. I don't know. The bandits shouldn't have been picking on him in the first place, but I don't really like sticking up for the eternal fire. I just, I couldn't in good conscience just let him get beat up by three people. All right. So we need to go back and track this other quest real quick. I'm guessing like by next, um, by next time we'll finally head to Skellige. Um, maybe, depending on how this does. I'm still just trying to catch up with the main story here. We're already level 20, doing level 11 main quests. So we really have some catching up to do here for sure. Definitely have catching up to do. All right, so let's go find Priscilla. Also, I think we should probably meditate. It's been a while. I'm out of potions. I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit and meditate till morning. Like a new rice takes, you're a bigger rat picker than me. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. <laughs> ah, a witcher. Look, now that's the life. All right, it should be down here. I don't think we've ever been to this part of the town before. Like up there, I think that was my. I don't think I've ever been up there before. Well, well, another freak. All right, so she should be upstairs. Let's go find her. Looks like she's up in her room. Sorry. Jeez. I came. I listened. I vomited inside. I vomited inside. Some of the NPC lines in here are so funny. Is this her door? Yeah, she's right here. I think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan, but we need Dudu. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he disappeared, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time, this time he hasn't returned. Hmm. How long have you known him? Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. <laughs> Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. 
What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Due to not much of a singer. <laughs> no. He simply spoke about something other than himself. That's actually really funny. Um, we have to convince him to come out of hiding. It's the only way to save Dandelion. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes, I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the mummers? What's the link? Dudu and the mummers, how they meet. That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as an otter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Hmm, maybe the place. Uh, maybe a play is the thing. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Yeah. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not That's a bad, bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play, from scratch. Something grand, something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Hmm. Um, don't need, don't know that I can write a play. <laughs> we can get to work. Yeah, I don't know if I can uh, write one. You want us to write one? Not sure Gerald? I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. Hmm, okay. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence. Meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Yeah, I agree. Yes, all clear. Yeah, all clear. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bells sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavetta. They want him dead, but at that instant, a witcher steps in. And everything mm. ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Um... Do I get a say in any of it? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Seems as if she's Why are you cross? decided. It is the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Yeah. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theater. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. Mm, okay. It just needs a good title. Something to draw doo-doo in. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? 
Hmm, the Doppler salvation. A changeling's rescued. Or the Witcher's triumph. I like the Doppler salvation better. Let's go with the Doppler salvation. Yeah, it's catchier, shorter. shorter. Catchier. Yeah. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Mm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along <laughs> dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Mm, I think it should... I don't know. I was thinking that it was going to be more of a drama, too. I think it would be better as a drama. Because if we make it a comedy, then Dudu might not take it seriously. And we're trying to draw in his reaction of, like, I can trust them. I think we should do drama. Mm, you're right. A drama would be better. Dramas well. are... I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down... Read silently or just think. All right. Fine. Why Since do I need to be need here? <laughs> I feel like she just Geralt, wants company. Wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh. Just keep quiet. <laughs> did Itcher? A few hours later, passed out. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but. We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? <laughs> Geralt's so done. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Okay, so we need to take this script over to Irina. What an interesting... <laughs> situation that we're in right now. So, the Doppler Salvation. This is what she came up with. Witcher. To slay beast most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. Threatening. <laughs> um, suspicious. Perhaps midst the guests, he hides in fear. Astonished. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Disgusted. But a heart that is base, such as in this nav aches. <laughs> Ceremonial. No monster is he whose shape can shift. Oh, I like that one. I think that was a good. That's a good one for a Doppler to read to understand and trust us. The rest of these are kind of a uh, interesting. All right, so let's go bring this script over to Irina and see what she has to say about it. Back again, trap. Just back down here. Hear it thundering outside. Oh, All right. Also, if we see any like blacksmiths or anything, we should probably sell. What the heck? All these people out here murdering people <laughs> in the streets. Ticket seller. We just walk right in. Where oh, you going? That's Sorry. A place of culture. Oh, okay. A place of culture. This where Madame Marina's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Can I just need a ticket? Go inside. Oh, I can't trick him. All right, I'll take one. Yeah, one. 
Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mummers in rehearsal. Okay. As they say, only, only. Is it this lady? I don't know. Oh no, it's this one. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about doo doo. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Doodoo recently. Mm, Dandelion's in trouble. Should I tell her that? Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Hmm. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? <laughs> Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Doodoo first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? She's like me. <laughs> she like looks down and then like makes eye contact and then like looks down again when she's thinking. I do that a lot. Um, I like to put on a play. I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Ushers? Why ushers? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, oh, and bricks. Actually. Sheesh. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Okay. How do I help you publicize? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them and if they'll work for us. Okay. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. All right. So we probably should recruit some jugglers. Um, since it's optional, maybe I should do that first. Let me take a look at our quest log real quick. Ooh, we can make a blue muta mutagen. That's nice. I just realized we had some ingredients that we can use up here. Uh, Catechin decoction. Enhanced cat. Nice. Ooh, 120 seconds. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to burn your house down. I just wanted to look at my quest log. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and do this one first. Sorry about your room, your office. I apologize. All right, recruit jugglers from the performing troop oh, called the Puffins. Quite the appetite. Okay. So let's go talk to them. Oh, we can call it this way. It does rain here a lot. Beware the gutters. I feel like every other day is like thunder, rain. And then it rains for Bad idea. like days on end. I'm not gonna worry about them this time. Hey, 
Ooh. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, so they should be in here. Is this a door? Oh, wow. That was a very weird door. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. <laughs> then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? I'm looking for the puffins. Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Mm, another thug. Thanks. Another thug? <laughs> Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening. And we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. I have a job for you. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemophart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. <laughs> faith Fatso's ignores. Gang, common thugs <laughs> and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. Mm -hmm. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Maybe they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. Mm, have they harmed you? They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. Will you publicize the play if I help with Fatso? All what right. a name, Fatso. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course, but you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. Okay, so we gotta go get rid of these thugs. They're lurking outside. Where are these guys? Ah! Sorry. Oh, dare you to say it again. Oh, are these oh, them? You're nappy, they look like them. Hurting this guy. So you're the ones. Oh, fat so look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? <laughs> right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the muffins alone. Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted the Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then. Every time they fought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about we Jedi mind trick them? Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Hello. What the hell? Black magic. He's a fucking witch. Yeah, well, I figured that was gonna happen. <laughs> Just thought maybe. Get away with some of it, maybe. Oh, you wanna? You don't wanna fight anymore? Okay. That was easy. Better run. Ah, <laughs> oh, what a sight! You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Well, that was easy. All right. <laughs> Nothing from the body that drops. Yeah, it's like it never happened. Oh. Okay. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> Let's go head to the docks now and try to hire some ushers for the play. See who we can round up down there. Oh, enough in the gutter. The eternal fire protects us. The witch is 
I love the screaming in this area. <laughs> the bad part of the city. Alright, there is an herbalist here, and I think there is also a blacksmith. So I'm just gonna sell some stuff real quick. Um I think the blacksmith was like I thought he was over here, maybe not. Oh yeah, he's over here. Okay. The armor. Top notch swords. Show me what you have in stock. Just got rid of a bunch of scrap swords left over from all the fights we've been doing today. I think we really should take Deekstra up on his offer to kill Radovid, assassinate him. I think that he would make a good leader. Sure, he seems a little bit like arrogance and whatnot but what good leader isn't i think he would make a good leader plus he's looking out for the mages and sorcerers and he was right how long until they start lumping witchers up into that category and burning witchers at the stake not long not long after They've already gotten this far with the mages and the sorcerers, even though people rely on them so heavily. For healing, for well, well, myriad well, reasons. Well, well, Alright, so we're at the docks. I'm just gonna keep following the marker. Maybe there's specific people to talk to out here this guy looks really pretty it's very yellow which is kind of scary i feel like yellow sky like irl means tornadoes right like yellow usually is like a bad color but it looks beautiful in this game it's like a very golden sunset all right there's something going on up here Interesting. Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. <laughs> Are you from Nilfgaard? You guys really from Nilfgaard? He's from plowing Metina, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. <laughs> Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdera. Brothers forged in bloodshed. Veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? I have a job for you as ushers. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. <laughs> Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. Hmm. 70 coin or what if I fight you and win? Let's try to do this for free. How about a wager? If I beat Hal... You'll come work for me, gratis. See, Al's no fan of mummies. Failed Romans. Stay in with these hearts. So you'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of Metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double 
Oh my gosh. Fine, I'll fight you both. Fine. I can take fight you. you both. I'll Go take both of you guys. First. Lose, and it stays with us. Mm, okay. How much coin do you want? <gasps> 140 here, double your usual take. Holy moly, we better win. Double the wages, as promised. But if Ooh. I win, I get it back. We'll get it back. Now, finish it. Got something special like that. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. Shut up and fight. Oh, jeez. Am I allowed to use my abilities during this? Is that technically fighting? Oh. Wow, he's actually pretty good at fighting. I should have zoomed out a little bit more. I might actually lose That's this fight. Nice. Get out of there! Oh, we're so close to losing! Oh boy, we might actually lose our coin. Look at our health bar right now. Holy moly. Oh man. Okay, he's down, so we just have to like strategically fight this guy. Alright, that makes it easier with just one dude versus two. Hanging on by a prayer over here. Jeez, one hit, I think we're done. Just be careful. Super stamina heavy. He's getting down there, but oh, wow, this guy is heavy. All right, there we go. Shoo! I thought for sure well, we were gonna well. lose. I know if you get such a lovely trash in I am. <laughs> that guy was actually Man, pretty good at fighting. Speechless. But I can see it on his mug, but the likes. <laughs> Time we got some rest. We'll go whatever you want. For free. Hey Al. <laughs> He's like, Your yeah. Coin? Kick my butt. Have it. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. <laughs> oh, they seem like nice guys. All right, let's go back and talk to. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. The life of a dock hand, chilling barefoot in the streets. Half, half uh, dressed, waiting for the next sale. It is kind of crazy to think that people still go on like, you know, ships out and to deliver things and they're gone for so long. Hey, look, it's Hattori. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? I'm actually not ready. You have to give me a minute. Need a minute. Very well, but hurry, please. Yeah, so this is the meeting place for Hattori. Okay, well, now we know. Um, and we do that. I'm guessing maybe we'll do it on the next one, especially if we do find doo doo this time around. If this play is successful, we'll probably finally be heading to Skellige in the next in the next episode. down here non human eyes 
excuse me. All right, it's in here. Let's see, she's in her office. There she is. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Okay, the text. Need to discuss that. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain you should play the prince and the princess. Mm, are you gonna get rich off of this? These performances bring in much coin. Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course, we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Thanks. <laughs> Wait, am I playing a part? Who's gonna play the Witcher? Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. What? Uh, I'm not an actor. I don't have any talent. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. <laughs> but that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Oh boy. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. Yes, that's true. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, Furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Oh boy. Think you can manage? <laughs> it's gonna be so awkward. <laughs> okay, who's the princess? So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. I think that's... I think that Priscilla should do it, especially since Juju has such a strong background with Priscilla. I mean, he really wanted to get to know her, so I think Priscilla should do it. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. I wasn't saying that you're not beautiful. I was just... Okay. Um, let's talk about the prince. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolya, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Hmm. Undefend undependable versus someone that might flop the show hmm. oh boy outstanding actor and audiences love him but he might not show up oh what happens if he doesn't show let's go with maxim let's take a chance for the sake of a good show Instead of it being a flop, we have to have Dudu trust us. We have to take a shot that Maxim will be there. Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. Oh boy. All right, well, he looks like we have it figured out. All right, got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Sure. <laughs> Um, we can start now. I don't think there's anything that we need to do beforehand. Yeah, let's start. We can start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. We can start anytime, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Oh boy. This is gonna be Zoltan, awkward. Hey, it's Zoltan. 
<laughs> Pissy told me you like to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. You're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Come, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. I'm excited to see this. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you a tale moving and heartbreaking. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, the delight of audiences far and wide, Maxime Bollier. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Good cast. Act one. This is really cool. Do we see anyone with a scar on his eye in the, in the seating area? Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. Lest that dread beast take my daughter's hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. Her monster shall show a tonight's beastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. And a grateful queen shall reward your woes. <gasps> um, I kill monster to slay beast to most slay foul. slay beasts most foul. Yep. Okay. Was for this I was made. <laughs> I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. Oh, no one laughed. He swallowed <laughs> the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Oh! My child will pity her love, this beast, but a fiend and a maid. No, this must cease. But like awkward silences. Gathered are we, a host <laughs> fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. <gasps> Perhaps miss the guest. Maybe he, yeah, he's hid. It was this one. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. Oh, that was wrong. Oh. <laughs> we definitely. <laughs> I was so confident dear, going into it. Long have we hid our love's tender fire. Oh boy, he's it's drunk. We'd kiss. At least he showed up. Um, uh, uh, deceitful like liars oh, tonight shall it end be my wife that's my plea oh, our God. hearts torment over we shall love for centuries oh darling i will i will i will wait with wine must we toast this moment joyful if not a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful Hmm, okay. This play is going badly. We need to get our legs ah, right, line right. This is not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> Soon all shall see my true monstrous figure. Hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. If the maid loves him, seems men's hearts. Oh gosh, I don't remember. If the maid loves him, it seems we've lost her. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword. Let fly the killing stroke. 
Stop, stop, beast or man. Tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. Um, but a base heart, but a lack of morals. But a lack of morals. And a surfeit of cakes. <coughs> they hated it. it is true. Oh God! This wretch's foul suspicions Should've tainted read the, my mind with this plan so malicious. Skin. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this: No monster is he. No monster is he whose shape can shift. I remember that the one because I liked it. Just a true Doppler's friend. <laughs> it's him. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God, call the guard. Remove the traitor at once. Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on, it is him, for sure. Up you go, on stage. Toss the tray, I scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! He's right. I, mummers, don't know the eternal fire's commandments. Blasphemers! Ought to teach them respect for the faith! What are you on about? Shut the fuck up and clap before I tear your new arsehole. Oh my god. Tear me a new one! <laughs> See about that. Oh boy. Your feet, boys. Getting Give rowdy. Taste of hell in the name of the church. Can we not? Give us a hand, Witcher. Can't take him on our own. This guy. Killed him when we had the chance. <laughs> Anyone else? Why did I put my sword away? That was weird. There more? Alright, nice. Hey, we reached level 21. Let's go. Two points available. Alright, talk to Doo in the room. Gonna loot this area real quick. It's mainly food. Lots of roasted chickens and chicken sandwiches on these guys. <laughs> um, all right. It looks like we can go around this way and meet up with them. Over here. In the office. Hey, look, it's Zoltan. Wait, oh. I wanted to talk to Zoltan before we went in. I missed it. Geralt, you recognize me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir horse and left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? <laughs> Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the temple guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't contact Priscilla? Why? Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? Contact them. I came to a few performances, different shape each time, but I dared not show myself. Feared I'd put them at risk. Mm. Then I got word of a new mummy. 
saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. How do you escape after the fight at Horsens? I know Siri went back to Horsens to get you. How do you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers. But Hold on, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? I want to see. Transform. Change into her. Oh. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Oh. Yeah, plenty. Bad idea. Not angry with me, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Menga's dead. Ugh, a fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it, though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? Mm, we can free Dandelion, but we need your help. We think we can free Dandelion, just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance, then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Yeah. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor. And an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. Mm -hmm. Things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. <laughs> no one else knows that Men uh, Mengi's, Mengi's... I can never get his name right. I will always say his name so wrong. <laughs> no one knows Menga's dead. Menga. No need to worry about being exposed. <laughs> No one Every time. save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the witch hunter's barracks? Mm. We were in the Maybe. area. <laughs> <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Yeah, Tris got wild over there. You'll be fine. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Manga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Get out to then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga. Live like Chappelle. Burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled. Let's get to work. It sounds like a good plan. Not bad. Not bad at all for your first time out. Just a few minor trip-ups. Yeah. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. Such a shame Maxim went on stage inebriated after all. Some of the crowd demanded refunds. Gosh. Here you are. Your fee. 
I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At uh, Care Morin. No. <laughs> Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. All right. Priscilla got a character entry update. So did Doo So we have to read through those real quick. I want to see how much money she gave us for our amazing acting skills. 20 crown? Wow, that is like nothing. That is tiddly bits. Holy moly. Oh, we got 30 crown on top of that. I wonder what that's from. Maybe it's for completing the mission, though. All right, meet Zoltan at the site of the ambush is the next part of this quest line. Wow, so much is updating and happening right now. Okay, I think it's finally finished. So let's take a look at our quest log. Um, so now we're going to go through and meet Zoltan. Um, uh, what times those were? Times of adventure, action, and unexpected twists around every corner. As you surely recall, Siri and I escaped from the Horson Jr.'s headquarters, only to wind up trapped in a corner by the temple guard. Siri managed to get away, but I was captured and tossed in the temple aisle dungeons. From there, I was to be transported to Dyer um, Dyerdra, the infamous Oxenfurt prison, to await my execution. And here my tale would surely end, had my friends not devised an ingenious plan to ambush the transport. That's going to be a fun one to do. Let's see. There was also an update to a side quest, I thought. It said something about, oh, maybe because it was completed, actually. It wasn't this one. No. Yeah, I think it was because it was completed. All right. So let's go ahead and read the update um arena was also put in here arena's vast experience in the performing arts had made her not just the informal leader of the mummers troop known as the foxen but its brightest star as well this talented artist was famous for her brilliant performances as the leading lady in both comedies and tragedies her performance is such acclaimed plays as love in a time of contempt the Barber of Kovir and Seven Brides for Seven Emperors had made her well her name well known to anyone, even with a modicum of interest in culture and the arts. All right, so Dudu's thing also updated as well. Um, yeah, I learned that Dudu had crossed horse in junior. Siri, Dudu, and I had all embroidered ourselves in quite the fiasco, but unlike me, the Doppler was not caught. Dudu was a theater aficionado and frequent attendee of Irina's Mummer's performances. Apparently, he had even stepped in to replace indisposed Mummer's on several occasions, and given his special abilities, proved himself a uniquely convincing understudy. Finally, after a great deal of trouble and thanks to a clever ruse, Geralt was reunited with his old friend and a certain imprisoned poet's only hope. I think this next quest is going to be very cool. There was also an update for Priscilla. Let me see. I think these are alphabetical. Yeah. Um, once he had found... Wait, Priscilla or Calanetta, the stage name under which she gained artistic renown was around the time of our story's beginning enjoying the last stop on a triumphal tour of concerts that had taken her from the sumptuous courts of lanark Surter and pont venus through Tra tradegor and kelf finally bringing her to the glorious city of novograd once he had found my calanetta Geralt had an opportunity to witness firsthand her beauty and numerous talents for it was her fertile mind that birthed to the play which then ingeniously lured out our elusive doppler friend doo doo sounds like dandelion loves priscilla definitely sounds like she he is very infatuated with her all right can we talk to priscilla again after Carol. how did you meet dandelion I think we've already asked her that, actually. Yeah, we have already asked, asked her now. that. Okay. Well, we can't talk about the play or anything like that. It's okay. 
So where is the site of the ambush going to be? Let's take a look at the map real quick. I would like to get a game of Gwent done before we end for today. And I am at the two hour mark. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and um, head down to like an inn in Velen and just play a round of Gwent before we leave. Where did we first come in? We came in by the hanged man's tree. So maybe like a town. We could go back to Castle Village, actually, because I don't think we ever won the hand here. No, we won against the armor that was here. We'll go to Blackborough. We'll play the, the guy in Blackborough. So I'm going to make my way to a fast travel point. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why is there a lockdown? Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's mm. crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Oh my goodness. I was headed to a fast travel. I, I like took a quick bathroom break. I was just running to a fast travel. I was going to like cut all this part out and then I got stopped by this guy. Um, I don't have a pass. Sorry. Don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm- Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But where- Not your concern. Back to your post. What in the world? Who is that? The guards from Siggy Reuven. Siggy Reuven. Okay. What in the world? Okay, well, we somehow received a pass. I do remember that guardsman. I guess it's good that You've got the streets respect, we Witcher. got on Siggy's side. On my honor. At least died, sauna, worth less than a man's shit. What's happening here? You seek someone, stranger? Why is he just laying on the ground? All right, well, things have obviously taken a turn for the worse um, in this city. We could not even get out to this fast travel without a whole debacle. Um, yeah, things are getting way, way worse here. So I think next time um, I am going to go play a round of Gwent because it is the end of the episode. So we're going to go um, get into, into some Gwent right now. But on the next episode, we'll definitely start with the Poet Under Pressure. And I think after we complete that, um, I'm going to take Dijkstra up on his offer to assassinate the king. I don't know if it'll turn out successful, but the way that things are going in Novigrad right now do not seem like they're getting any better. They're getting way worse. We couldn't even leave the town right now. That was, that was actually wild. And now there's elves at the gate sick looking for medicine not allowed in it's not a good situation okay where did i say that i was gonna go i think that's oxenfurt we're not ready for that um let's go to black bow and try to win here i'm sure the people in these like smaller areas are probably not going to be as difficult um as the ones up north buy in or just peruse him yeah, hanker in to play Gwent. Uh, let's go for ten. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Okay. I think I'm gonna keep the hand that I have for now. I think it's been running pretty well for us. Let's go ahead and just start. Let's see, I'll take this card out. And maybe the frost. I feel like Scorch has hurt me multiple times. Kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. Because Scorch also gets rid of my highest cards as well, right? Or no, if he has higher cards than I do, then it Scorches them. I've definitely hurt myself with this before. 
Um, so I'm going to take Scorch off and leave the Biting Frost. All right, so we have these, which will help. We can work those together. That one's good for getting some more cards. Jeez. At least on a bonus battlefield. What does this one do again? Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. Okay. Well, let's just place a little, a little four up here. Or we could just place this. Yeah, yeah, let's place this little, little four. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze his front row. Oh, of course. Okay, I think I'm gonna let him win this round and maybe we'll get him on the next couple. I don't wanna throw these down quite yet. I guess I could use this one. If we're going to let him win, we might as well draw a couple cards. Gosh, I wish this wasn't here for that. I feel like it's very silly UI. Drives me bonkers. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll get our two cards back. Pretty much just, like, letting him win at this point. I could place this one as well. But just in case next round goes weird, I'm going to pass. place that down okay all right let's go ahead and play this hand we'll play both of these passed already interesting um, okay. That's, that freaks me out. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and place this so we can get a couple more cards. And then I'm going to place this down so we, we win. So we have, we still have more cards. Okay. And we're winning. So we should get an extra card on top of that. We got our Scorch card. Okay. Let's start with these ones. Place next to a card with the same name to double the strength. Okay. Let's stack those. These don't have the same name. Oh no, the pictures look the same, so I thought they were the same. That's okay, we're still doing fine. What does this one do? Choose one card from the discard pile. Um, I'll just place this one. I have a feeling his cards aren't that great. I think we're gonna win either way. I mean, he's throwing downs like threes and fours. Not really not much going on there for him <laughs> um let's add this five. Oh no we actually have this is a nice card to get let's do this one because then we get extra cards we've already like we're so ahead i'm just gonna keep stacking this back row All right, that was his last card. 
And we don't have to play our cards, right? We can just forfeit because that's his hand. Can't do anything. Nice, we won. That was an easy round. That wasn't bad at all. All right, so we got some crowns. I don't think we got anything else from him. Some coal. Yeah, we didn't get like a special card or anything for Buy in or just perusing. For winning. Show me what you've got on Let me make sure I bought all the cards that I can from this guy. Yeah, looks like it. Fifth essence. No, that's okay. So long. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me on another adventure in The Witcher. I'm glad that we're finally getting through a lot of the main story quest here. I think we're finally on the next one officially i know i've said this like so many times on the next one we're gonna meet dandelion on the next one we're gonna meet dandelion and we had so much further to go i had no idea that it was gonna turn into all of this and i mean who knows the zoltan ambush could completely turn south and we might not actually meet dandelion um on the next episode but i have a very good feeling that we are getting very close to finally running into Dandelion, learning more about Siri, hopefully. Um, I'm looking forward to the next episode a lot. So I will see you guys there. Thank you so much for joining me on another adventure. I hope you enjoyed today's um, very action and lore filled adventure. I'm very highly distracted by Roach's ears right now. Do you guys see what's happening? They're <laughs> like glitching out. I hope to see you guys on the next adventure. Bye everyone.